You want the mercy of Allah. People talk about how you will be punished. When you do that and that and that, you'll be punished. When you don't do this and this and this, you'll be punished. Let's talk of the other side of the coin because Allah speaks about it. How will I earn the mercy of Allah? Number one, seek the forgiveness of Allah. When you seek the forgiveness of Allah, Allah will have mercy on you. Astaghfiru rabbakum thumma tubu ilayh. Seek the forgiveness of Allah and then turn to Him. So don't just make it every day you commit the same sin and you say Astaghfirullah, oh Allah forgive me and so on. Next day back into the same sin. What's the difference between Istighfar and Tawbah? They say make Tawbah and someone says make Istighfar in English, right? There's no word to translate. Istighfar is to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Tawbah is to return to the path of Allah long term. That's what it is. So there's a difference between the two. One is short term. You are seeking the forgiveness of Allah. If you are genuine, Allah forgave you. But don't go back into your ways. Make an effort to make Tawbah. And that's why Tawbah is what is more praised in the Quran and the Sunnah than Istighfar. Although both of them are absolutely important. They come hand in hand. Because to do Tawbah, you start off with Istighfar. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. I seek the forgiveness of Allah and I return to the way of Allah. That's what it is. So we do istighfar and we do tawbah. When you do that, Allah says, you know what? Our mercy descends on you. What else? Be conscious of Allah. Develop a better relationship with Allah. He'll have mercy on you. You want to have the mercy of Allah? Be conscious of Allah. Look into your life. Improve yourself. No matter what level you're on, none of us can say we are perfect. I need improvement. You need improvement. We all need improvement. So improve yourself every day. You're making five salah, add to it. Watch out how you treat other people because another beautiful means of earning the mercy of Allah is to treat the creatures of Allah with utmost respect. Irhamu man fil ardi yarhamkum man fis sama. Or in another hadith, man la yarham la yurham. If you don't have mercy on those around you, you won't have had mercy upon you. From who? From Allah. Have mercy upon those on earth and the one in the skies will have mercy on you in the heavens. Meaning Allah will have mercy on you. May Allah Almighty grant us ease.